modern world. This is Tintingale Castle. It's on the edge of the border and that there is an island. The island is surrounded by the ocean all the way around. And we're going to go onto a bridge to get across there. The bridge will take us to the island. Well, there'll be Tintin Girl Castle. Right now, ourselves, we are in the castle too. This wall was built in 1230, about 806 years ago exactly. It was made long time back. Tintin Gale Castle, made before Shakespeare was even born. This wall was made in 1230, a long time back, 806 years ago, like I've already said. And here is what it says. Here, it was made 70 years ago, 70 years before 1306, in 1230. And then the sheriffs came to check on it. That's what it originally looked like. Right now, we are over there where I am right now. And look, look at there. And look here. What has happened to the construction is something that we can no longer know. But this is Cornwall, a long tango road. There is the bridge that, we are, that I am heading just now. But it is so far away. And there's the island. There is the island. It was originally um, an iron set belly, so you have to take boats to get there. But recently, in 2019, a footpath was made just right above the ocean, which we are about to go on. This is a very interesting footbridge, for underneath it, there are crashing sounds of waves screaming underneath us. Across the bridge we go. of food and barrels of wine preparing for a feast. You are standing in the island courtyard of the castle on your right in the great hall, used for dining, receiving guests and holding court. You are... There is a much excitement as Richard Earl of Cornwall, one of the wealthiest and most Due to arrive shortly. His young nephew, the Welsh Prince, is David Apluin, is currently resting in the guest accommodation. Prince David is suffering from a nervous illness because his lands in Gwynedd, uh, northwest Wales, have been invaded by the English King Henry III. Richard's older brother, he has come to Tintin Gale to seek advice from his well connected and famously shrewd uncle. The island courtyard being prepared for a visit by the owner, Richard Earl of Cornwall. Richard has been given the earldom by his brother King Henry VIII on his 18th birthday in 1227. And he built this castle shortly afterward. That was what it looked like about 800, 700 years ago. Now look at it. Some things have been recently built. Some things have stayed here for about 100, 700 years. The ruins in front of you are the remains of a series of successful halls and service buildings that once stood at the centre of the castle. The original Great Hall was built in about 1230 and was at least 20 metres long. But it later had to be rebuilt on a smaller scale when the fire in collapsed with the erosion of a steep cliff. And that's what it would look like. 
And that's what it still looks like now. After the death of Earl Richard in 1272, the royal family rarely visited. However, a constable, gatekeeper, porter and chaplain were kept on as paid staff and the buildings were occasionally repaired until 1387. The last structure to be built with the, within the footprint of the Great Hall was a small two-roomed lodging, probably connected with the use of the castle as a prison in the 1380s. Important people such as John of Northampton, who had been Mayor of London, were held here. Edward the Black Prince, seen here kneeling before his father, Edward III, inherited Tintingale Castle, which is where we are. In 1337, a survey of the date that once states that the Great Hall has fallen into ruin with its roof dismantled and put into storage. This is Dintingale Castle. And there is the ocean that stands next to it. There is a little mini waterfall just overhead there. And here is the ocean. As you can see, the fog clears off the horizon. So you can't actually see it forever and ever. Otherwise, you'd be seeing it in another country. This is the ocean of Tintingale Castle. Girl village. The village of Tintingale, once known as Trevenor, has been enormously influenced by the presence of the castle since it was built in the 2030s. The medieval village of Trevenor was enhanced by Earl Richard. He founded a borough, granting it a red stain market and an annual fair. The village population declined when the castle was abandoned but saw renewed growth in the 19th century when many residents were hired in nearby slate quarries and mines. Camelot Castle Hotel is number one. Well, that one there. That one there is on the picture. But that one there, I'm seeing it for real. That there, that massive building, that where a queen or king could live. There. Is actually a hotel. I never believe it if I've just read it and it is a hotel. I cannot believe it. But yes, it's a hotel. And imagine living in a hotel right by the ocean. As you can probably see, this is the ocean. I honestly thought it was the sea, but it's actually the ocean. And it is massive. I am so high up, I had to climb about a billion stairs to get here. It's amazing. It's even a cliff's edge. I'll meet you back when I get there. formed part of the dark age settlement with the collapse of roman rule in britain at the end of the fourth century a.d there was a time of conflict migration and invasions the period is known as the dark ages because few historical sources survived in the southwest a powerful kingdom called dumnonia emerged with dictum and its principal settlement you might spot a circular oven in the corner of one of these buildings. Use the dry out cereals to prevent them from spoiling during storage. About 100 small 
several rectangle structures had been identified across the headland, showing that there was a substantial settlement here in the Dark Ages, where I am right now. Make sure we don't fall into the ocean. No, we're going to follow this kind of like path that might look so easily there. That, it might have looked like this before the road was laid out. So back then, probably, when the ships came over, in 1230, 806 years ago, they probably walked over something that looked like this way, rocking and slippery. Some might have fallen into the ocean, some might have just slipped in the grass. But who knows? We're not 806 years old, we'll finally see the statue very close. Full of water. Here looks just like a cave. Maybe when it rains really heavily, people would stay there. Here, have a look from where I see it. It's probably like a cave or something. You can see it's very muddy here. Lots of people walk around too. Very interesting. And the ocean is so close to me. Great place doing the oceans everywhere surrounded in this island but alas I'm not finished talking yet I cannot drop this phone down there this looks like what could have been a well as you can see it's like this stuck into the ground oh 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 that's interesting well this literally is a well this well is 5.5 meters deep it's probably built at the same time as the castle in the 13th century it was fed from natural springs which emerge across the island. These springs would have provided fresh water for both the Dark Age settlement and the medieval castle. Goodbye and thank you for your time watching this video of me at Tintingale Castle. Here we are, next to Tilgate Castle. There is not actually a castle, did you know? It's an island and there's the island. Many of you may have known, I have crossed that bridge to get to this massive island to go to the top. Now I came round the bridge down here to come over here, which is quite hard. And there you can see is some quite interesting views of the ocean. There, there is 
a massive rock. You probably don't see the water connecting it, um, deconnecting it from the meter there, but it's actually there. Very interesting. And it's just a rock, maybe, what you think? But it's actually really interesting because it looks high, but it's actually half of it is in the water. So who knows how tall that could be? Right now, I'm about to go up to the top of this mountain, which is surprisingly steep. I'll call you about, I'll tell you back when I get to the Okay, top. so I haven't got to the top yet, but I'm just going to show you how path this is. It's a very unusual path, is it not? This is rather steep where I'm going. I'm going to be very careful, hopefully, and not fall down. But right now, look at the view. Remember, at the start of the video, I showed you this. Now look at it from far away. Might as well zoom in. There it is. You're seeing it much better than I can see it. I can see it like this. Oh wow, that is amazing view. There's the bridge. It's a rather long bridge. But yes, it's an amazing thing. Very few have seen this and very few will see this. Did you know this, this was built in 12? This could be rather interesting. Look at that. We're not actually going up, we're going that way. And sooner or later, we'll be off to that Mount Island over there. You may not see it like I do, but there are water connecting, deconnecting it from this island. I've just come down from there, from there. I was originally at the very top of there seeing a statue. Now I'm coming here and I'm gonna keep on going forward. But there's something unusual here. This looks like a cave. Let's explore. Dang it. Muddy. But look at that. I think it, before the brick wall it was just built to keep off something away. It's rather interesting. Many ideas I have about it. Hmm. Wow. There is the opposite island. There's the, this island we're currently at. I don't think I'm going to go up to there because that looks a bit high. I'm cold. Freezing cold actually. The higher I get, the more windy it was, and imagine how windy it was up there. Woohoo! Very windy, actually. But now look at this view. It's incredible from where I'm seeing it. Yeah, this is how I'm seeing it. It's amazing. And there's the rocks. It's really amazing how everything here is connected. If you ask me, it's not strange that the, this island is there as an island. Every continent and country is just a big island. Asia is just a big island. We call it a continent because of the size of it. This is crazy. It's a cave. Down there connected to all the water. Looks amazing. And look how far the ocean would go. And look at the caves. I'm about to go to the next island across here. It's rather big, really. Well, it's not as big as some places like Asia, but still. It's amazing. Bunch of rocks floating on the water. This is a massive island itself, really. I don't think it's meant to be walked for, but there are pathways, so I think people would have walked to it in the 15th century. Here is the cave again. But this time, I'm just going to be walking past it. Past it. I was thinking about past it. This path doesn't look very fun. And look at that. It's a steep fall. Oh, dang it. Look at that. It's an amazing view. I like it a lot. Then again, it was six hours drive from my house to get here, so really, it's worth it. Look at that. It's an amazing view. Oh, that looks rather steep going up and going down. That cave is wondrous. Who knows what would have been in it? It could have been a cave to hold some of the ships that got there. It could have been amazing things used. Maybe it stored ships. Maybe it was used for hideout. Maybe there was a war here and they were hiding there. I could think of a hundred different ideas, but I don't want to bore you today. But look at that. It's an amazing view. I keep on going. It's really great. And this time, it's not a very unusually massive bridge to get to the other island. It's a very small bridge, shall we say. I've been walking for hours and it's all worth it though. Look here. It's an amazing place, Tintin Girl. And the island is also very high, you can see. 
What's right now? I am not very high right now. But you could see we went very high. So yes, I'll call you back around the bridge. We are on the other side of Tintin Girl Castle. There's another island nearby the coast. And right there is the ocean you can see again. And I can also see somewhere really far away. Some hills we had to climb through to get here. And look, there is the hotel. Much more closer. And this time, it'll be a short, uh, very long way actually walk up to get there. But, really, we can get there. The hotel is very, very big, majestic and things. And there is the bridge so far away that I don't think you can... There you go, you can see it. There's this small bulb on the ocean. And it goes all around this thing. And then right now, boom, on peak of here. There's the thing. It's amazing. I'm going to go up that path to the top. Or I could go all the way up here. 